Hey, it's Andre, and I'm just home from flying the Excalibur. That's right. Happy Friday, everybody. Good evening, Flying Excalibur. Just getting some footage before I ran out of daylight, which I uh, actually got some really dramatic uh, sunset footage, which is what you were reviewing. It's been a busy day a week on the bench, and I've got a few things to review, a few things to build, a few things to play with. I'm still working away on the multi RC uh, shenanigans 150mm frame. I just kind of got busy with other stuff, so I got to slap on the uh, board cam, wire that into the FPV, so that's a custom, a little bit of custom wiring. Uh, Mark from Multi RC just sent me all the PIDs I'm going to look for. I'm running Clean Flight on this guy yet. I may flash over to Beta Flight for, for now. I'll start with Clean Flight and uh, do some tweaking and settings and get it going. It does fly, and I have flown it. It just it was very sluggish, and I couldn't do any rolls and flips, so. Couldn't have any shenanigans, like I said last week. So, got to get to that. Uh, the other night, I was flying FPV for the first time, testing out my brand new to me uh, Attitude V2 goggles, and I went for the gap with the goalpost. Not the big gap, the little gap. And I kind of shredded up my poor FT arrow. <laughs> and so, uh, this thing needs a brand new cage. I'll see if I can salvage the uh, center core. Actually, most of it's in pretty good shape outside of the where it got tore up. I did bang up the cable for the FPV gear, but it was really good. Speaking of the Attitude V2s, I was getting used to them, and uh, I got a quick little note after the podcast from a viewer saying, hey, you know, you're, uh, you can put a module into that thing. So I did a quick little Google where there was some directions there. So in here right now is the 32 channel race band Fat Shark module. So I've taken out the 8 channel one and put in 32 channels. So I get race band and a couple others, uh, uh, A and E, and as well as the Fat Shark band. So this is really nice. Uh, there are going to be some further upgrades to this one. I just actually, <laughs> I just had finished the install and I looked online and the new Diversity 2 antenna receiver version 2 had just been released. So I've ordered that because I'm going to dump that into the teleporters and the teleporters because I was so inspired, even got upgraded. Now it has a 32 channel as well, so we're getting there. So eventually I'll be able to use race band and get away from some other frequency issues that we're having when we're stuck to the Fat Shark Immersion RC8 channels. So that is really positive news. So these are new to me, the Attitude V2s. They're really comfortable, enjoy the resolution, enjoy the fan and everything, and got the case. So really impressed, but hey, it's nice to get away from those eight channels and have some flexibility into the equipment from flight test uh did a little talking about winter flying yeah the winter is coming so see uh this is the sea otter and i picked up the b pack uh power pack for it so we'll have a little bit more kick um, i'm thinking this is going to do really well and i was kind of curious to see how this is going to go um, how the brown foam is going to react to the winter probably going to paint it up the exact same scheme as the sea duck because well, it looks pretty cool i've got some royal canadian air force decals and everything waiting to go into that plus a couple other flight test builds coming up as i Get into the winter season i do want to build uh the ft explorer and fly that i do have another aero kit as a backup and um i uh EFF, EFF, ft racers so looking forward to just getting those out and uh, chasing my dad around having some fun with some flight test planes and from banggood my very first banggood review this is the uh what is this called the charsoon antimatter 250 milliwatt uh, 10 amp charger. I'm really excited about this one because yeah, like I said, it's my first review for Banggood and I've been looking forward to expanding on the charger line. Actually, this is the first time opening this bad boy up and it looks pretty impressive actually. It's got all the standard chargers, uh, ports and everything. Uh, I'll probably clip these right away and put some XT60s. I actually use old Xbox 360 uh, chargers or power supplies as my power supply because they will do 16 amps, no problem. So this should be a really nice piece of equipment and should allow me to test out how efficiently it works because I've got those 4S 6600s from uh, ReadyMade RC that I picked up at Flight Fest. So I haven't even cut those yet. But my plan is to cut those right in half. So. That flew awesome. Spectacular plane. Look for the full review and everything. Um, it should release, I've been told, middle of this month. 
Uh, and yeah, it just, it, it blew my mind how smooth and, and how wonderful the envelope, the fly it is. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a spectacular Friday already. Uh, <laughs> have a fantastic weekend. I do hope to get out uh, flying and charge up some packs and keep going with the Warbirds. If you watched social media last weekend, I flew the Spitfire, the Corsair, the Albatross, and everything else. So the T28, you know, just kept going and going. Have to get a couple of the other airplanes ready to go, do some maintenance on the existing fleet, but I hope to keel to keep going and flying the Warbirds all weekend long. Very soon going to be starting up the build on the uh, Sweet Wings Juggernaut Wing and uh, just going to keep blasting and having a lot of fun. So have an awesome weekend. Thanks for watching.